What's going on my ASVAB party people? Coach Anderson here and in this video I'm going to show you one of the most common mistakes that people make when trying to solve percentage war problems. So before I even get started I'm going to show you the formula for it and I'm going to show you in the video how exactly people misuse it all the time. So here we go I'm going to go ahead and write that formula out and please feel free to write it down yourself. It's going to be percent multiplied by the original equals the results. So make sure to have that written down because it's not just about having this formula memorized, it's actually understanding how it works. And so write that down right there and then pay attention, pay very close attention to the words that are coming out of my mouth. So right here, so the main idea is the percent that you apply is the result that you get. Again, the percent you apply is the result that you get. We have got to acknowledge that and understand that main idea because whatever percent you throw into this formula, the answer that you get for it, you know, when you solve, they represent the same thing, you know, and I can't emphasize that enough. You know, that's really the big key to understanding percentage word problems. So with that said, let's go ahead and solve this question using that formula and then look forward to seeing what else we can do to continue improving. So here we go. Step one, as always, just check it out over here. What do we want? What do we have? What's the connection? So what we want is going to be found in the question sentence. How many miles does Richard have left to run? Right there. So my math party people, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and just write down somewhere, anywhere, or just in our heads. We want blank miles left. Again, we're looking for how many miles Richard has left. Now, how many current miles? Pay attention. So I'm gonna get into that right now. So the next thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a look now at the information we have so that way we can set up our formula the right way. And so just as a quick reminder for those of you who are in the program, this is arithmetic reasoning unit four. So after this video, if you wanna get more practice on this, remember that you have all of those lessons, worksheets, guided practice, those speed drills to help you work under pressure. And on top of that, the unit checkpoints that have step-by-step -step solutions for every single word problem that you'll do, including interest, including everything else, like those simple percentage questions to taxes and discounts. So getting back to the party, my math party people, let's go ahead and crush this. So we're looking for blank miles left. And we're saying here that Richard wants to run a total of 12,300 miles. So I'll go ahead and write that down. We want to achieve a total of 12,300, no problem. And then it says, so far, so far right here, Richard's achieved 31% of that goal. Okay, this is where things get interesting. So Richard has achieved 31% of goal. Excuse me there, goal achieved. Okay, sounds great. So here's what we need to do. When we set up our formula, we just have to have that basic understanding. The percent you apply is the result that you get. So when I set this up, if you're the person that's thinking, okay, I got a percentage. I know the grand total, the original number. Let's throw it in there. If, you, if that sounds like you, this is the mistake that you're making. If you say 31% times 12,300, and you think that that will get you the answer, that's gonna be incorrect. The reason that that's gonna be incorrect, my math party people, is because 31%, does that represent the miles left? No, right? It doesn't, it doesn't at all. And that's the main issue. We need to make sure that again, the percent we apply and the result that we want, we gotta make sure that they represent the same thing. 31% is how much of the goal we've done, we've achieved, not how much is left. So to just correct that really quick, here's all you gotta do. All you gotta do is go ahead and say, hey, 100% represents the goal. And we, if we take away 31%, you know, how much is done, we get how much is left. And so 100 minus 31, that's gonna be 69%. So 69% is what we have left. So if we wanna just calculate this in one shot, then we have to acknowledge that 69%, it representing what's left, that's the one we need to apply. That's the percent we need to put in there. So here we are, we have 69%. 
multiply by 12,300 right there. And so this is what we want because again, 31% represents how much we have run. And so if we applied that, we would get how much we've run, which is false, not the, not the correct answer. We would then need to do extra work to find the correct answer. But with this, we can get the correct answer in one shot. So here, let's go ahead and solve this now. So if we turn that percent to a decimal, that'll be 0 0.69 multiplied by 12,300. And so now when we calculate, I'll go ahead and just write it like this. 12,300 multiplied by 69%. Here we go, zero times nine, zero times nine. Three times nine is 27. Two times nine is 18, carry the two is 20. And then one times nine is nine plus the two, that's 11. Next up, we'll put a zero there for that six that we're about to uh, calculate with. Then we have zero times six, zero times six. Three times six is 18. Two times six is 12, carry the one is 13. 1 times 6 is 6, plus the 1 is 7. So there we are. And now, lastly, all we have to do is add everything up. So we have 0, 0, 7, 8, 4, 8. And so we'll take those two decimal places, just like we normally do, and we bring them back. And so there we are, my math party people. We've got ourselves a final answer here of 8,487, not dollars, I don't know why I wrote that but 8,487 miles left. Again, context matters. Remember, if there's anything that you remember before you leave today, before you leave this video, it's gonna be that the percent you apply must represent the results you get. If not, you're not, you're probably not gonna have the correct final answer. So my party people, you got this. Keep moving forward the right way. If this video tickled your fancy, go ahead and drop a like, leave a comment. Let us know if this was helpful to you because we wanna make sure that we're doing everything we can to be the best ASVAB coaches we can be. So with that seminar math part of people, don't forget, if you are in the program, it's gonna be arithmetic reasoning unit four. If you are interested in raising your score without all the stress, just having everything lined up for you, then go ahead, check out the program. You can text that number right there, or you can check the link out in the description of this video and you're good to go. So with that seminar math part of people, have a great day, love y'all, and I'll see you in the next class. Cheers.